Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video, we are going to learn about the invoking workflow and arguments concept. So we have uh, seen the different predefined workflows which are available in UiPath Studio right in our previous video. If you have not watched that video, please go and watch that video for more understanding. Also, we have seen the variables video. We have learned about workflows and variables concepts so far. So now in this video, we are going to see how to invoke a workflow and what is argument in UiPath, right? Please quickly make a note of what we are going to learn through this video so that it will help you to refer it again whenever it is needed. Also, thank you so much for the support so far and the interest what you are showing towards this channel. This is really encouraging me to come up with new concepts and new practice sessions. So let's dive into this video, Invoke Workflow. Invoke Workflow. And Arguments. Let us see this separately. Invoking workflow. We have learned that having separate workflows in project will helps us a lot in project testing. So if we have a bits and pieces of workflows, say separate workflows in uh, which is divided among the team, it increases the team collaboration as well as it will help us during the testing as well. We can make sure the component the workflow is working fine according to the uh, expected, uh, uh, what to say, the functionality. We can test it as a piece of complete project, right? So that way it helps a lot. Not only that, it will increase the team collaboration as well as the delivery time as well, right? So all, uh, also it will helps us to reuse the piece of code as a workflow in other projects as well. So this, this is the, <clears throat> these are the main key benefits of workflows, right? Now how to invoke? If you have a workflow where you can reuse or where you can configure it into a project, how that is going to be uh, in place? What are the steps to invoke a workflow? Invoke is nothing but you are going to call that workflow into another sequence or another workflow, right? Now let us see calling or using a workflow into another okay is nothing but invoke workflow how to call or how to use this there are two ways one is use invoke workflow activity Another one is you can drag the workflow file from projects panel to the design panel. Okay, so these are the two ways. Now quickly open your uh, uh, studio and let us see these two ways how to do this, how to invoke the workflow. So I have a sequence here which is assigned designation. So what the sequence is going to do is, it is going to uh, re result with a designation to an employee based on the technology and experience which we provide, okay? For that, what I have created, I have created a separate sequence and I renamed it as, a, as this is a best practice and I have added an annotation according to the uh, example. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call this particular sequence from main file. Before that, let us complete this part. So what we are supposed to do is, we are supposed to have arguments to this file. Why we need arguments? Let me give you a brief introduction on arguments. Okay. Arguments are nothing but the same variables. We have learned about variables, right? There is no major difference between arguments and variables. But the only thing is... Uh, arguments have some directions. It has three different directions, in direction, out direction and in out direction, right? 
and rest all will be the same similar to variables it it has some uh, the data type it will uh, it will be having some default values right let me show you the properties of arguments let us quickly go back to our studio and if you see here next to variables panel you could see arguments if you click on this we could see the name of the argument direction argument type which is nothing but the data type which is going to be stored in this argument and the default value so it shares the same properties right except this scope because it is telling it is considered to the entire uh, flow, uh, workflow okay the uh, by default and it is constant the scope of the argument will be constant to the entire workflow this might be your interview interview question uh, what is the difference between variable and argument and what is the uh, scope of the argument in a workflow then you can is, is it possible to change the scope of the argument no it is not possible to change the scope of the argument because argument is uh, something uh, which has a uh, global scope on the entire workflow okay so we have the same uh, property similar uh, to the variables name direction argument type and default value direction is nothing but in which direction the argument is we have some three different directions in direction out direction and in out direction say suppose if i create in technology argument type is nothing but the data type apart from the list which is displayed here we can use browse for other types and we can use the available data types from the uipath studio okay so this is fine now let us come to direction we have some three different directions in direction that means we or this particular argument uh, let me re rename this yeah in direction that means in this uh, it this argument is coming towards this workflow that that is in inside right out that means whatever result comes from this particular workflow it is passed the data will be passed out to the from the workflow okay this particular data is coming towards that means inside the workflow right so the data is transferred from another file to this inside this workflow file that is in when the data is passed from this particular workflow to another workflow where where this is invoked that is out and in out is serving both ways data is passing from the other workflow file towards this as well as if if we made any changes the same output same data will be sent back to the invoked workflow no workflow file okay and the property in when we are not using the any of this arguments we can set it as property instead of deleting the same okay so default value as you are aware default value is the value the data which is set as default but anyhow if it is in or out if we are um, passing any value from the other Uh, workflow file this default value is going to be replaced overridden okay so let us quickly make a note of what we have learned so far on arguments arguments are similar to variables stores the data passes data between two workflows okay please make a note of what you are uh, learning through this video let me let me point the similar to it stores the data and passes data between okay uh, then let me let me make it clear this is the only difference let me uh, make a note of this first okay so what is similar to variables and arguments it stores the uh, data dynamically and then 
sheets, same methods and properties. Then, what is there? Supports. Okay, and uh, same data types, right? It it both contains the same data types. You, you have seen here. Yeah, here. Right? Now, uh, what is the difference then? Variables serves within the workflow, but it is differences. Passes data between two workflows and it has some uh, three different directions. Directions. Right? So, one property is different. Right? That is directions property and scope. What is the major important uh, difference that is scope of argument is for entire workflow can be passed to another right whereas the variable it depends on the activities right uh, the container sequence or work uh, flow charts or outer uh, sequence or inside so scope may change uh, according to the creation of the variable whereas the scope of the argument will be by default it will be on entire workflow and it can be passed it from one and from one and the data can be passed it from one to another now let us talk about the directions we have learned about the directions. There are three directions. One is the in direction data uh, is passed towards the workflow. Next is out data is passed out from the workflow and in out both ways data passes both ways and there is one more thing called as property you can use this if the argument is not in use so instead of deleting the argument we can set it as property okay now let us come back to our example now we are clear about the workflow invoke workflow and we are clear about the arguments fine i'll come to this part how to uh, create a workflow in two ways i'll show that once we complete this part first okay let us minimize this so we have a sequence now so we have created one in direction and one more in direction that is what else we want we need experience right right next one out direction to get the designation right so this is going to be designation okay so this is going to be out and this is going to be in clear so based on the experience and the technology which are going to be as in direction uh, this particular sequence is going to calculate the resignation and sending it and passing the data into the other workflow file that means it is out direction now along with this let us create one more argument on click of this it is creating an argument so just rename this to io that means in out direction execution info what i am doing here is i am going to pass the execution log message info to this okay so let me just minimize this so we have covered all in out and in out now what i am doing i am just adding a log message info io execution info 
enough okay so uh, based on the values in the technology and the experience so if suppose let me add one switch here where if the expression how we are getting it as experience in experience if the experience is say less than uh, uh, five years it is as ui path developer developer if it is greater than five years it's a senior developer and if it is uh, uh, greater than 10 years maybe tech lead something like that let us let us frame that particular cases here so i have 5 3 10 and 20 let us do something here let me use an assign activity and assign a designation uh, using out designation okay what i'm going to do designation say 5 years means uh, senior developer okay so what we are going to do we have some technology also right what we are going to do is we are going to use the same technology and plus underscore okay senior developer let us just use this now similarly let us Draft something for free, maybe technology developer. Okay. Similarly, let me copy this to ten. Wait. Let me copy this to this. Say for example okay so this way i have given and if something is not out of this let me draft uh, an assign activity here also and set it to our designation invalid okay so this is how i have uh, framed this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a uh, assign activity To assign IO also IO information okay in out execution info execution completed something like that okay so now coming back to our arguments out designation which is out in direction uh, and then IO execution info it is in both IO experience and technology and experience I have converted this to integer okay now how to invoke this to our main let me open our main file okay now i am going to invoke this assigned designation sequence workflow to this main now there are two ways as we read one is simply in projects panel you can just simply drag and drop so this is our file right just drag and drop it here okay so this is one method or delete this what we can do is go to your activities panel just type invoke workflow file this is an activity synchronously invokes a specified workflow optionally passing it a list of input arguments okay just drag and drop this and call your file okay use your browse your file so just browse your file that's it now there is something called open workflow if you if you open this it will open your workflow okay there is something called import arguments so whatever arguments been created here under assigned designation the workflow those will be imported to your main workflow so on click of this if you could see all the arguments which we have created in the other one let me close this let me close this yeah 
if you could see here it been displayed right all the workflow now what i am going to do we are supposed to provide tag this with the local variables in this file so for that i am just using control k and pass technology okay then pass experience so instead of that uh, this is not an out variable right so i can directly pass some value okay since this is a integer i am passing value also you could manage this through a variable or directly through the value so for one in argument i am passing value directly for your understanding and for one in argument i am passing so both ways we can accommodate this and out variable should be through a variable only out argument it should be through a variable so i am passing it as using control k and say this is since str designation okay and the other one in out since this is also considered as out right in out so this needs to be a variable control k str string right execution info understood let let me recap this on click of import arguments you could get the list of arguments which are available from the invoked workflow okay we are supposed to tag this arguments to the local variables for in direction arguments there are two ways we can directly uh, pass the data or we can pass it through a variable so both ways i have shown here and for out arguments we are supposed to create a variable to store the passed value okay so now what is our technology i am passing some experience 5 and give let us give the technology variable so this is our technology let us pass this uh, say ui path save it okay so let us see how this is going to be invoked okay so both ways we can we have seen how to invoke one is from activities panel and one is from projects panel simply drag and drop now i said like workflow has uh, one benefit we can test the workflow file separately so we can test it right for that we are supposed to pass the argument values default values okay so this is one now let us go back to our main file and give a run let us see how it is going to work i am going to print this as well in main file let me use a log message for our better understanding there is a log let me type log message okay so what we have got we got i o let me there is i o s t r okay main sequence only right so again so let me print this s t r execution in four designation is nation is we got str designation right so just save this fine now let us run this file now perfect now let us see the output panel if you see this execution been completed and the designation is ui path senior developer because i have passed the argument as 5 right now let us pass this as 3 sit and okay let us run this file again
fine perfect so based on the technology and based on the experience we have given it has invoked this workflow file and it passes the two uh, data uh, in in arguments through these in arguments in direction arguments experience a technology and it has calculated the designation through the switch activity and passed that data using this out direction to the main file right so i hope you got a clear understanding on the invoke workflow activity and arguments concept so if you like this video give a like and share with your friends and colleagues also if you are new visitor to our channel please do subscribe our channel and for more videos click on the bell icon thank you so much for the support so far meet you through our next videos till then happy learning and happy automating bye bye